Hi guys, so I was in conversation with one of my students yesterday and we were chatting about the search or the quest for peace and he was saying that he's trying so hard to maintain a level of peace and trying to avoid you know any kind of chaotic mind or any chaotic thing outside of himself and how difficult this um, this task is and in the moment you know it took me back to my first awakening of course there's so much that I learned during that period and even though I'm going through another a significant period of transformation um, still I draw back to the lessons from the first so I will refer to it quite frequently but it reminded me of that time um, and how I got to a state of peace I got to a state of peace not by avoiding the chaos not by denying it not by running away from it not by suppressing it especially not by suppressing it I got to a state of peace by allowing myself to be still in the chaos to be aware and awake and accepting of the chaos to be non-judgmental to have no preference for peace or for chaos and removing the preference and removing the judgment um, allowed me to just be aware in whatever state was happening on the surface level of my mind as well as whatever state was happening around me and so it was irrelevant what my human was thinking and what my human was feeling and what was happening outside of my human what was relevant was the awareness and the allowance in whatever was happening. And through that allowance and that relaxation, the relaxing into um, whatever was happening, the resistance was removed. And when the resistance was removed, peace was found. And sometimes that peace meant that the peace was external, the peace was mental, the peace was emotional. But sometimes there was turmoil happening on the surface, but the awareness remained with the deepest level of peace. It was like observing the chaos from a distance. There it is happening there inside my conscious mind or on the surface of my conscious mind. But my awareness was seated down in the depths of the ocean and I was not attached to what was happening on the surface level if that makes any sense. There was still this deep connection with um, the peace that is under the choppy waters. Um, and so I, I just wanted to take a moment to come and share that with you guys because I think it is something that's important to note, is that peace doesn't come from running away from chaos. Peace comes from allowing chaos, from not resisting chaos. So I wish you all a beautiful night with that little thought and I hope it's given you maybe a little bit of inspiration to sit in and allow and remove resistance to whatever is going on mentally and emotionally at the moment um, and that it gives you a sense of um, releasing from that resistance and that that brings you to the experience of peace. Much love and have the most beautiful sleep.